25 years ago, René Egli from Switzerland brought the World Cup for the first time to Fuerteventura. Everybody laughs, forgives and forgets, yeah, right. Cause this is real, real life, I'm all right with that. Cause I'm fine. As I 1984, my center here aufbaut. When I founded my center here in 1984, I asked myself, how can I promote it? How can I communicate it in such a way that tour operators and visitors will come here to Fuerteventura? So I asked the rider associations if they would come to Fuerteventura in order to hold a World Cup. At that time, that was still the PBA, the Professional Board Sailing Association. And they said yes, I could organize a slalom and speed event. I was lucky with the speed. The world record was promptly broken. And from then it became a snowball that rolled off from there and has continued rolling until today. Well, it was not only good for me, but for my center too. After a couple of years, both the politicians and the residents of Fuerteventura realized that it was a good thing to have a World Cup here. At first, it was the local community that showed its interest, and we worked very closely together with them. Then the whole island joined in. Now the whole Canary government is pleased with the product and fully supports us, and they know that we can promote it well. Top athletes such as Christian Berza also have special memories of the World Cup. The most wonderful thing for me about returning to Fuerteventura is that it's the place where I started kiting. It's nine years ago that I worked as a windsurfing instructor here at the Pro Center René Egli and also learned kiting. And of course, to return back to your roots is really wonderful. We still have lots of very interesting plans. I would like to involve the schools, the young kids in this sport. It is quite obvious that on these islands, where you have the nature, the wind and the sea, that the children should be integrated. And therefore you need the infrastructure. You need to make it more public in the schools. And you need the cooperation with the government. I'm working on it. And we are very optimistic that we will be successful. Without the successful foundation of the windsurfing and kiteboarding centers 25 years ago, the World Cup would probably not even exist. Our center has been so successful because we started off by having the best and most up-to-date equipment available, and that in large quantities. We have that what I call the Ferraris and Mercedes, and the guests know and appreciate this. The overall concept is of great importance. We want to offer a perfect supporting program and ensure that we have trendy bars and shops. You can't just take one particular thing out of a package and do that well. You have to offer the visitors an all-inclusive solution. That starts with the check-in at home and ends when he gets back again. That's why over 100 employees take care of the guests' comfort. The indispensable Franco Romella has been part of the team since 1987. Today, Franco is general manager and deals with the day-to-day -day operation of the center. With its relaxed atmosphere, the Four Star Plus Hotel Melia Goriones invites you to chill out in its unique gardens and pool facilities and its first class spa area. The hotel is just 200 meters from Rene Egli 1 and the kiteboarding center. The center is just a short hop from the hotel. 
The Center One and the Kite Center are located directly in front of Hotel Malia Goriones at the legendary World Cup spot. The centers are situated at a perfect location for freestyle, speed, and slalom boarding. Visitors can relax protected from the wind under palms and sunshades. Each year, we buy 1,000 rigs, 400 boards, 120 kite boards, and 350 kites. No board, rig, or kite is more than 6 to 12 months old. Windsurfers and kite boarders love it, as the wind is stronger here than in the surrounding area, thanks to the Sotovento wind funnel. The wide beach offers plenty of space for kite boarders to launch and land a kite. The René Egli Center 2 is situated at the southern end of a three-kilometer lagoon, which stretches between the two centers. Still in the Sotovento wind funnel, the site is equally suitable for all skill levels. Beginners and advanced surfers will find the conditions in the lagoon, which empties and fills with the tides, perfect. One to two meter waves break against the sandbank in front of the lagoon. Visitors will also find plenty of entertainment by way of après surf. Visitors can purchase high quality sportswear in one of the 10 Fuerte action shops in the south of Fuerteventura. Surfers and kite boarders will find everything they need in the René Egli Megastore. The Fuerte Action Bar is a great place to meet up with other boarders. From breakfast through to late into the night, Italian coffee, delicacies from the open bistro kitchen, and delicious cocktails can all be enjoyed on the terrace, accompanied by windsurfing and kite surfing videos. Visitors in a party mood can enjoy mega parties with several thousand people during the annual World Cup event. One thing's for sure, with pleasant temperatures all year round, turquoise waters and reliable wind, Sotovento is one of the best spots on the planet to enjoy the perfect windsurfing or kiteboarding holiday.